At just six years old, the Woodford slasher was already having violent fantasies about stabbing his babysitter. And whilst he didn't act on it then, it wouldn't be long before he did, with various random stabbings happening around his hometown in Maine during his teenage years. It was on this day in 1982 that things would escalate, however, and he would take his first life. An 11-year-old boy had gone out for a jog and was witnessed with a man riding his pushbike alongside him. Unfortunately, that child never made it home and was found the following morning stabbed and strangled with a bite mark in his right calf. 